Okay, so I'm going to talk about the plan, um, why I made this. <coughs> so Linux tries to compete on price, and uh, it's it's diff it's a lot different from Windows, but uh, um, I I have to give mine away for free. Um, I, I can't offer a warranty. Um, the most critical thing for an operating system is compatibility and uh, um, there's a lot of people that are amateurs that are doing they're trying to do GPU support it's it's they, they might support one out of five machines or something I've chosen um, greatest common factor least common denominator whatever you want to call it <laughs> um, anyway God said 640 by 480 um, and uh, that allowed me to uh, focus on adding value. Um, anyway, so uh, the command line feeds into a C compiler. Um, so if I say uh, u0 count i64i i64 oh I did i, I should have done n. Okay, let's do j. 4j equals 1j less or equal to i j plus plus and if it hits a string by itself that's a printf that's retarded the c out i can't believe they made something so retarded and ugly that's grotesque what kind of okay anyway what a retard so um in temple os you have uh real functions that return values um oops. anyway uh count to 10. so uh we use exceptions you don't have error no so it's a big improvement over unix um so you well so if it feeds into a c compiler what do you suppose you do to uh start a file guess what you do well anyway um so directory, uh, I started. I started with uh, C statements outside of function execute immediately. Um, I added our default arguments from C plus plus. So we just say dir. Then I made parentheses optional. Um, so it looks like Pascal. Um, the side effect is when you take an address of a function for a function pointer, you put address function. That's better than the original C syntax. So um, we're going to edit a file. You can come up off the bottom. Um, let's say, uh, what do we want to do? U0 main. Uh, hello world. Main. We can do a couple bunch of mains. Let's do that. So uh, you say pound include <coughs> pound include uh, test test I have to do a semicolon so it did that several times so um, <coughs> today I'm going to talk about uh, standard in standard out uh, this the vision is a Commodore 64 um, not a mainframe. We're not doing scientific computing. What did you do with the Commodore? You made simple basic programs. You made sprites. Um, I can watch this. I can put I can put text on I can put graphics on the screen in one line of code. Pow! We got a how about that? Nobody can do that. We we have uh we can do sprites at the command line. Um, let's do there. Um, the sprites are uh, vector, but typically you can you convert them to uh, bitmap. Um, so uh, so I'm um, writing on the command line. Okay, so so the command line 
is a uh, is a document that's being edit edited. Okay, so we we have a document editor, and the cursor location is where standard out gets put. Anyway, so the the document format is the same all over the entire operating system. It's one editor, so you can cut and paste. All these are there's one editor for the command line, one editor for everything. Now, what do you suppose? Uh, let's put it up here. Um, let's go ahead and change the uh, origin. So, uh, <clears throat> sprite edit menu, set origin. I'm going to click up here and we just shifted it down. Okay. So, what do you do if you want to print a sprite? What do you think you do? You say sprite and then control R, pointer to sprite number one. Uh, so let's do that. Now we can, we just printed a bunch of sprites, um, to the command line. Uh, they're kind of hard to see. Anyway, that's not so pretty. So guess what? Um, there's, there's no way to do log, uh, operations like log files. Um, just uh, I'm kind of this is Adam he's a a uh, executive task uh, we could look at all the tasks down here Adam is in Adam and Eve um, he's the father of all tasks you can actually uh, let's get rid of this ugly window okay so uh, um, you can actually say, I don't know what I'm doing here, Adam, I never do this, I don't even know why I'm showing you, Adam log, hello, okay, so you can log to Adam, um, what I did is, uh, when FAT32, um, was, uh, threatened with patents, I, uh, invented my own file system and I said what can I do that's simple that won't get sued so I did a contiguous bitmap allocation so uh, uh, drive report so I made a file system called Red Sea file system it's like fat but I cleaned up the directory entries so they're fixed link 64 bit so I'm, I have a I have a RAM disk uh, Drive B. Um, what did you do with the Commodore 64? Everybody played with uh, disk blocks. So I'm going to copy uh, some files onto the B RAM disk. And that's my file manager. So now we have some files. Um, let's do a... Uh, with, with the Commodore 64, you played with disk blocks. The FBI is not too happy about giving access to disk blocks because then it ruins their secret if they're recording blocks. Um, I don't care about pedophiles. It's more important that ordinary people get information on, get cheap thrills like we had with the Commodore. Um, Anyway, uh, so uh, we do a directory. We want disk clusters. So let's look at the cluster for uh, for the current directory. 7.15. So say uh, dump cluster. Now we could actually write this cluster if we wanted to do read-write. So this is the this is the cluster. This is a directory block. You can see my 64 byte entries. It's designed to be we want the kids to all learn how this works and hack it and have fun. Um so um everything is accessible. Nothing is off limits. Um Anyway, so uh I was talking about something so I'm jumping all over the place. So uh, 
there's a the the standard out goes to the cursor on the command line window so what that means is well you, you can figure out what that means so if we so if we uh, if we make i64 i for i equals 0 i less than 100 i plus plus percent d carriage turn so uh, you can see what this is going to do if I hit F5 it crashes exceptions we got exceptions we don't have error no we have uh, it's 10 times better than Unix we have real functions that we can even make this return a value I64 uh, and we can say Turn I. Now we can. Now we just loaded that into memory. It, uh, we can say who minus R and main is a function that's that's this is like our this list of environment variables. If we say I sixty four I of global variable, we say who minus R. Now we have a global variable. This, this is an environment variables. Now all, all tasks inherit symbols of their parents. So uh, all tasks, Adam is parent of all tasks. So guess what? All of Adam's symbols are uh, inherited by everybody. So you never need to include headers because Adam has all of that. Now if you want to do a recursive uh, who there's all the sim this is huge this is it's not that huge <laughs> one of the critical things is I want you to see the light at the end of the tunnel you hit F1 this is all the help and under each of these categories some of them are duplicates under each of these categories is uh, an API and uh, I want I want you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's critical. That makes all the difference. I can master this. I can learn everything about it. That's a realistic goal. It's not very hard. You can probably do it in 100 hours, uh, for example. Um, so uh, so uh, there's a, uh, if you hit F1, there's a demo index. Uh, these are all, I'm going to hit control O. I just opened all the trees. Anyway, so these are all, uh, this got a ton of demos. Um, so, uh, there's a persistent graphics layer. We get a device context alias that, that allows us to use a pen width and a color. Okay. So we clear the the command line document we set the color we draw lines we delete the the device context and then this uh this goes directly to the uh persistent um all the all the arguments for all the default arguments are uh are uh um the most common so um the default for dc fill is the uh is the uh, there's a layer a persistent layer um, it's kind of for kids but anyway um, so if we do this there we get that the persistent layer is kind of uh, uh, cheesy um, but the the refreshed layer is done 30 times a second so if you're uh, if you're writing to the uh, Oh, let's just take it for example. So this has some sprites, some Walking Dead. Um, let's see what this. Okay, so I made a simple. I tried not to. I used arrays and not classes. I was trying to be conservative to be as easy to understand as possible. So there's FIFO. There's a array. Uh, what do you call them? circular buffers 
Anyway, uh, so there's a draw it callback that the window manager calls 30 times a second to draw the image. In the other example, we were using the persistent layer, but that's kind of for kids. Um, so uh, it takes a little getting used to, but you don't you don't issue a uh, a request to paint. It happens 30 times a second. What you do is, uh, well, this one is scanning. Normal normally we make an animate task that runs and. and uh, this one is doing it within the uh, the main game loop. Anyway, so uh, nothing too exciting. The, the messages are uh, different. There's only about 16 messages. Each one of them is a uh, sets a you set a mask with a flag. So if you want key down but not key up, you set a flag, a mask, and then. Um, that filters what messages you keep and which you throw away. Anyway, uh, so uh, where was I? You know what? There's not really a... Uh, so the standard out goes to uh, the cursor location in the uh, command window, command line window. So there's a state. There's a state. So we're not dealing with streams anymore. It's kind of like a hose that gets insert. If I uh, watch what happens, if I uh, let's watch this, um, I'm going to uh, run this. Oh, it went to the bottom. Okay, I, I lied. Okay, so if I go down here and then I say pound include uh, test, it, it defaults. Now, if I cursor down, look at that. It inserted. Uh, you can't tell, can you? Let's go up here and do it. So I'm going to go up to this point, and I'm going to say pound include. Uh, I'm just demonstrating that it's it's probably not that surprising. but uh, So it's inserting... Normally you don't do it this way. So uh, this is all I'm using cursor down. So we just inserted into the buffer. So what you can do is you can make this command window an infinite buffer by saying doc doc max, and then if you want to redirect it, you can save it. This is an editor. So uh, I can go ahead and show you that it has, it has this, uh, I could just hit Control S. Save as, how about slash home junk.txt. You know what's weird? Oh, anyway, so files that end in Z are automatically compressed and uncompressed when you load them. Anyway, so I'm going to do a directory. So here's junk. When I open this, it's going to look just like, oh, well, it's a different color. Well, anyway, the default color is black. So um, that's how you can uh, um, redirect. So uh, I was talking about logs. Uh, the, the file system has uh, is contiguous uh, files only. What I did is uh, I, okay, there's, I have to differentiate myself. I make a simple operating system that's easy to hack. And one way I differentiate is I cherry I cherry pick what you can do with it. Instead of doing everything, I simply rule out certain things it will not do. You can't do log files. The reason is uh, because my file system is contiguous only. That's one reason. Another reason is um, compression requires loading. We load and save whole files. So compression is for whole files. Doesn't work for partial files. So we use compression normally. That's how we normally operate. And then finally, uh, we can put graphics in here. Uh, Control-R, make sprite. 
Okay, let's just put some simple graphics. Okay, circles. So uh, we're just going to put some graphics. Now, these anyway, um, when you save, the graphics are stored as binary. I'm just duplicating a bunch of them. That's not going to show up very well. Um, you can edit and move shift points. So I duplicated a bunch of the circles. Um, so when I click on them, I get duplicates. Anyway, so you can move them around. So they're vector, and uh, actually what you normally do, it's kind of overrated. Uh, <coughs> normally you don't keep them as vector. I thought vector was really cool, cool, but it's vector is only good good for editing. Um, once you, uh, that's the kind of stuff that happens. So we can, uh, let's go ahead and delete that. So I just deleted that. Now uh, let's go. Oh, you know what happened? This is an ordered list, and we just inserted at the beginning. We should insert at the end. We can't tell which circles have been drawn. I I violated the order. In other words, the circle didn't exist yet in the list. Then you can convert it to a bitmap. I should have done you know, when you do a demo, you should do something pretty. Um, anyway, so I'm converting to a big, ugly bitmap. Then you can edit as a bitmap. That's no surprise. To I did flowchart stuff. I never used my flowchart stuff. Anyway, uh, so now we have a big, ugly big bitmap. Now this goes into the file as binary. It's a binary bitmap. So, uh, so for example, if we dump that file, dump junk. Uh, uh, this is gonna unzip it. Um, <coughs> the raw image would be compressed. So here's the bitmap at the bottom of the file. It's binary, and then up at the very tip top is. Should be the ASCII. We made a huge bitmap, didn't we? Just lovely. Okay. Dang. This is crazy. There's our ASCII. Is that? Yeah, that's the big. Uh, I made a bunch of stuff. So there's ASCII, there's, a, there's ASCII, there's a terminating zero, and then there's the binary. So one reason you can't log files is because what if there's a sprite at the bottom of your file and then you start logging, then suddenly the, the, the binary has to be shifted down. So we do not, we load and save whole files. That's just how we roll. So you might ask, uh, well, I, I have... I have tested it and it does, it meets my expectations. Here's a bunch of icons. So I made a, uh, uh, let's go, let's look at the, uh, what's the other one? Uh, oh, the first person shooter. So, uh, so you can you can do 3D meshes inside of uh, your sprites can include 3D meshes. It's uh, the editor for meshes is very tedious. I don't do very much. So here's 3D mesh sprites in here. Um, they're done with triangles and vertices. I do a, a, a random dip, dither in order to uh, get more colors. It looks kind of strange. Everything kind of... Um. Anyway, so, uh, so this is a first-person shooter. Uh, anyway, uh, 
so uh, I think I showed you around. Uh, we can go to the Oracle, get Mr. God to talk. Oh, you can just hit F7 at the command line. Astronomical who are used to judge cosmos. Hey, that's right, Chase. I didn't see that we used to it. Okay, let's go to the Oracle. This is the this is kind of stupid. I guess it's stupid. So this is Moses. You go up the mountain. Then you find the burning bush. Where's the burning bush? There's the burning bush. Now we talk to God. Sit on his throne as it is this day. And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a little child, and I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered or, nor counted for multitude. Okay, that's lovely. Well, anyway, I'm king, okay. So, uh... The best part is hymns. You should do offerings, and then you get God's response. This is a nice little song. Father, the grass is green. This must be a dream. Thanks, my shepherd, you are good. Thanks, my shepherd, you are good. God is a good God, thank God, God is a good God, thank God, He is a good God, He is a good God, God is a good God, thank God, God is a good God, thank God, He is a good God, He is a good God, do not push your luck, do not push your luck, God is not a schmuck, God is not a schmuck, no, do not tell the Lord that you're feeling bored, he will send the sword, he will send the sword, yep, okay, so, uh, do hymns and then God responds, hope that's right, okay, so, uh, Oh, what do we? Oh, I did. I'm a rocket scientist, so I did feedback control systems. I studied. So this is a, there's a differential equation engine. Um, this one misses. This one's uptight. So uh, you can play with the differential equations. Rocket science. If you want to do it open loop, this is impossible. Open loop means you don't have your control system. It'll crash. It's impossible. Okay, so open loop, closed loop. So I hired an artist. He did some good work on a couple things, but he put, put penises everywhere. Everything, everything looks a little bit homo. This is kind of amusing. You know, they got dicks on the Sistine Chapel, so I'm doing okay. The home, I got one of them real homo artists. Put dicks everywhere. Sistine Chapel's full of dicks. I don't know. He could have stolen this from some other place, but anyway. Oh, well. He, I like what he did, sort of. Um, so, uh... Uh, oh, this is nice. This is nice. So uh, we have some 3D meshes. So uh, Good King Wenceslas, you go in a blizzard and you, uh, you let people walk in your footsteps to get to the uh, warmth. So you, they set Yule logs. Let's get this guy inside the the house. Hey, uh, come over here. So making a game, the first thing you want to be is original, and then you want to make it fun. <laughs> so I made a I made several original games. Um, 
where is rawhide so this okay so control Z or control shift control alt Z zooms control alt shift Z the the, A, the API has controls the API has control alt Z for zooming anywhere anytime so if you're editing bits you can zoom in and uh, you can pan with control left drag so every window that's part of the API can be panned so that makes it easy to do certain games so this game I didn't have to make my own panning the game pans itself so we got to get those cows into the into the uh, fenced area okay this is this anyway so you can get the cows and um, so uh, I think that's it that's all I want to show you um, this is the wallpaper there's eight cores let me show you an eight core flight simulator uh, <clears throat> so this is doing if you look up in the corner it's uh, showing the cores um, anyway so that's eight cores we're not using a GPU so it's possible to use multi-core um, GPU is better sort of except for it's not transparent so we want to be entertaining like a Commodore 64 which you could hack and uh, so we want it all in the open so uh, we have a uh, you can browse code with the uh, autocomplete. So uh, gr triangle, v gr fill triangle. So you want to know what separates a professional from. Well, I did my own triangle fill. It just takes algebra, but most people can't do algebra. Most of the other operating system developers they cannot do their own triangle fill. They're stupid. I get there. No, it just takes it takes a genius to do simple algebra because everybody forgets and doesn't have the stamina. I don't know. It's crazy. So, uh, so it's a it's a usable operating system and it's uh, it's got features. It's not pathetic. You know, most people I, I've seen other operating systems. Why would you use them? Well, this is. Uh, this is awesome. You should see the hems. Uh, if we go look at the code, let's go look at Prosper. So uh, you should do hems. Everybody should do hems. So we have some sprites. We have a draw it. That's the one that gets called 30 times a second. It draws a couple sprites. This is the the, the lamb dances, and uh, the the music is coded with. Uh, it's a simple one voice, so it's really easy. It's just notes and then the words are uh, there's two strings in the play the, the notes and then the words they go with the notes and uh, that's how you do these songs so these songs are really beautiful they're made by angels uh, let's go look at uh, uh, the best song by the best angel in all eternity is
because I am. Are you a fan? What makes you think you're a god? Okay, that's God. Okay, well, that ought to do it.